Alright, welcome back to another gun build in Modern Warfare. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Growl 556 uh, assault rifle and we're going to be turning it into the uh, conversion uh, of the PDW. And uh, if you guys are not aware of what that is, it is like just a uh, an assault rifle SMG kind of hybrid deal. Uh, one of them was actually insanely uh, popular and uh, Black Ops 2 it had like more or less like a tan color kind of deal. Everybody used it because it had such a cool sound to it. And if you know, you know what the gun I'm talking about. But right now we're going to be making the Modern Warfare version of the PDW. or Yeah, the PDW. And uh, working off the crowd here. So let's go ahead and get started with the build. Uh, first off, we want to go ahead and go with the barrel, and we want to make it to where it looks like an SMG. It already does from like the base body of the gun. This assault rifle is actually fairly small. We go to the barrel. We want to go with a ZL ZLR Drifter A08 barrel. Now, right off the bat, that already gives it a uh, SMG looking look to it, and it already makes it to where it looks like a PDW up front up front here. Now what this barrel does, it will give you a tremendous amount of movement speed and aim down sight speed, or ADS speed, uh, because you're taking a large amount off of the gun in terms of actual weight. Uh, but it does also give you recoil uh, due to the grip being part of that whole barrel. So as you can see here, the under barrel is not being able to be used, and that is because of the grip that is built into the barrel itself. So that's like a, an integrated deal, like uh, most guns will have like an integrated suppressor and it'll block out the muzzle section. Uh, this one doesn't have one or I'll give you an example. But uh, right off the bat here, so we want to go ahead and put down that barrel, already makes it more or less like an SMG. Uh, from there we want to go to the stock and we want to either, this is your uh, pick here, you can either go with the nose stock to make it to where you can move way faster. Uh, you're going at around 100 or 99 to 100 percent speed right now if you put on a no stock uh, this will give you increased movement speed uh, ads speed cons being recoil control and aiming stability you know the typical no stock uh, pros and cons there but what i would like to do is go with the xrk strike light uh, 3 uh, stock here so that doesn't give me the tremendous amount of movement speed you can absolutely do this and the gun works just well uh, because of the grip there, it actually counter uh, counteracts all the recoil uh, control loss. It gives you a lot more recoil control back uh, from the nose stock in the barrel itself. So it, it does help out a little bit. But when you do this, it does not make it to where it's so beaming accurate like a uh, like a normal assault rifle. So it is more like an SMG. It's just a lot more controllable, and you don't need to worry about it as much. So this is what it looks like without the stock, and it just looks insanely small. Uh, it's about the same size as like the VLK shotgun at this point. The magazine is the only thing that's stopping it from getting that size. Uh, from there, we would want to go with the 60, 50 or 60 round magazine. It's up to you guys. I go with the 60 because I like the most amount of rounds. Now, this gun is mostly based off of being insanely fast while also being, uh, or I say insanely fast, it's faster than most assault rifles in this category in terms of ADS time and sprint to fire speed and such uh, but it has like these really weird effects because you know like the 50 round magazine and the 60 round both say they take uh, your ADS speed away or slow it down uh, that is not the case actually they both do not actually affect your ADS speed whatsoever they do however uh, get rid of the movement speed the 50 uh, round magazine uh, gets rid of 1% of your movement speed and the 60 round gets rid of 2% of your movement speed So that's the only thing that you'll be losing again from the barrel and the nose stock uh, That movement speeds hardly really touch. It's you're about at the same level You started at now which is already pretty high at 97 I believe So you're already well up there uh, So that's why I run a 60 round it really does not do anything uh, it really doesn't affect your gun. It's practically just giving you 60 rounds for free. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So from there, that's really just a build. If you want to, you can also put on the XRK uh, Void 2 grip here. 
and that'll make it to where you have better ADS speed and sprint to fire speed to help you out or if you want to put on the 5 milliwatt maybe something to make it to where it's a little bit easier to rush but from there that's practically it probably just front side of hand but the really like three main attachments you'll need is the either no stock or the XRK strike light stock there the 60 or 50 round magazine and the ZLR drifter barrel now that effectively gives you the PDW from I guess Black Ops 2 is the only one I can possibly think of at the top of my head, my head right now but that's pretty much it I can go into a game I always set some bots and stuff uh, let's go with five get rid of the crank timer because we don't want to move insanely fast because I want to show you guys that but I'm just running sleight of hand and stuff on there just to be doing it but uh, pretty much you just want a bunch of things that will just speed up your gun in general uh, because you are now effectively using this as an SMG it does not shoot as fast as most SMGs actually it's about mm, well it gets close to a large amount of them like uh, let's see 800 rounds per minute was like the MP5 this thing shoots at 760 so it gets close now it does take a minimal of four shots unless you mix in a head or two headshots or something. Don't mind that notification if it popped up. But uh, yeah, so I mean this is pretty much it. It's the PDW. Again, you can run the nose stock, uh, which gives it more of that SMG look. I will probably go with that, or you can run with the uh, the light stock. For that uh, increased movement, see, uh, straight to be back and forth. Actually, this one might be a little bit faster, so you know what? Scratch that whole stock deal. Let's go with this. So, I mean, yeah, this is pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. You only need three of the uh, attachments to actually build it. Because if you guys don't remember, the uh, PDW from Black Ops 2 had a pretty large magazine to it. So that's why I decided to add the 50 or 60 round magazine to it to give it a little bit more of the, uh, I don't know, nostalgia feel, I guess, or just kind of going back to that was weird. But yeah, so it has the same damage profile as the M13. Uh, apparently they're both made by the same company, like the SIG company, or the Six Tower. Uh, that are the same guys who made the uh, MPX SMG, which I will show in a later uh, deal if you guys want to, or a later episode, and that's or video, I suppose. I'll show you guys how to make the MPX, and then there is also the uh, the new upcoming, uh, or hopefully upcoming, uh, LMG called the Rao. So yeah, so. This has the same exact profile as the, the M13, it just doesn't shoot as fast, uh, however, it moves a lot faster. So right off the bat, it has exactly the same matching like ADS speed as the Ram 7, or the uh, R21, if you guys want to call it that, from, you know, Modern Warfare 2, original Modern Warfare 2. And uh, yeah, so that, I mean, that's pretty dang cool. That's what I mean, like, it's a little bit lighter than most assault rifles, so you can get a little bit more uh, versatile with it. There's a pretty good amount of barrels to go with here, too. I'll probably do other builds, like one of my, uh, some of my favorite ones. Now, everyone knows, you know, with the growl, everyone wants to go with the Archangel barrel, but there's a couple of things you can make out of this thing to where uh, it's pretty solid as a gun. Definitely high tier. I would definitely call it a high tier weapon. In uh, Warzone, it was nerfed a couple times, and even here it's been nerfed, but it really doesn't make a difference. I'm really not sure why people don't still use it. it it's about the same as a Kilo. There's really not a whole lot to change with it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This one's just going to be real quick, roughly, probably a little over 10 minutes or so. Uh, PDW, ladies and gentlemen, from Black Ops 2. I can't think of any other game where this uh, gun is in right off the bat, but I'm sure you guys can leave, you know, send out a comment, let me know where this is from. And I'll be happy to look at all those. 
If you guys have any suggestions for anything else you want to see on the channel, uh, just let me know. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of going off of the gun builds and upload every so often as soon as I find a different gun to actually build. Uh, if you guys want me to, I'll be throwing in better multiplayer games now. Uh, since internet connections kind of been sped up a little bit. So, uh, you know, it's actually enjoyable to watch. That's why you guys haven't seen anything like that just yet. You've just been seeing the gun builds uh, going against bots and stuff. So, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.